All right, I want to talk to you guys about the hip flexor because it's commonly one of the tightest muscles in the body that can have a great effect on your lifts. It can also set you up for pain down the road if you're not paying attention to it and making sure its flexibility is up to par. So real quick, I just want to talk about a very common hip flexor stretch that we see out there. Um, it looks kind of like if you were to do a lunge position stretch. So on this left hip here of Greg, um, very common stretch you'll see, but I want to show you a different version because there's a lot of debate out there as to whether or not that stretch or any of its varieties actually hit those deep hip flexors that we're trying to you know, optimally hit. So what we're going to do here is use a kettlebell. Go ahead, line back. <clears throat> now, to show you guys, you're coming a little closer so you can see, bend this leg for me. Where the hip flexor is, is uh, located, you know, they find it pretty easily. You find the belly button, you trace the line straight to the hip. It's a huge muscle, you can't miss it. Um, and that's its general kind of landmark and where it's situated. Now, what you're gonna do is find the top of the pelvis, okay? So you just run your hand up to the top of the pelvis and go in about two inches. That's the meat of the hip flexor, the iliopsoas. That's gonna be your starting point and your target. So you can go ahead and take the kettlebell. <clears throat> you just place it on here, you're starting right there. Um, find the top of your pelvis here, go in about two inches. Uh, right there is where you're gonna then place the kettlebell in one of its corners right on that spot. Good, just like that. All right, now it's gonna be a little uncomfortable. What you're gonna do is take a few deep breaths, let it just sink in. Uh, you'll know when it's on that muscle because nine times out of 10, it will be a little uncomfortable um, and you'll, you'll feel it right on there. So once you find a good spot, you can move it around a little if you need to, but once you find a spot that feels particularly tight, what I like to have my, uh, my clients do is, you know, spend about 30 seconds or so just letting it sink in. Then, if you bend this knee up, to make it more intense, you can slowly extend and flex this left leg, just like so. And that'll just increase the intensity. Um, you know, you do anywhere from about eight to 10 uh, leg extensions, find the second spot, maybe up or down an inch, you know, with the kettlebell, and then repeat. Um, Good, just like that. So, great alternative to that classic lunge position type hip flexor stretch. This one works really well to get those hips loose. Try it out, you'll notice immediately afterwards your squat will feel better, your lifts will feel better, and hopefully your back pain will feel better as well. Give it a try.